What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Juggalo972 here, and welcome to Juggalo972 Replays Act Razor 2. Now, why replay uh, Act Razor 2? Well, number one, even though I did complete Act Razor 2, the American version, I gotta be able to, I did not enjoy having to do the way I completed uh, Act Razor 2. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I didn't have that much fun doing it because it's something I want, I've always wanted to complete, but I just didn't have, you know, all, honestly, I just didn't have any fun with it. So, I decided to do a little bit of research, and I learned that the Japanese version actually is a lot more balanced out than the American version. So, with this playthrough, I think I'm going to go through it on a on normal difficulty in the Japanese version. See how difficult and how much balanced out it really is. So, here we go with the Act Razor 2, The Crusade to Silence. That's the uh, Japanese version's uh, subtext. The, Amer uh, the American version didn't have any subtext either, so that's what we're going to go with. So, let's get to it, shall we? Alrighty. Crusade to Silence. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it on normal difficulty. Keep the uh, mono sound. Hopefully, this uh, turns out pretty good, too. Been working with the uh, sound levels on my PC, hasn't been very cooperative. Alrighty. To the Seven Deadly Sins we go. Town of Diligence. In Dustin, here we go. And I've seen people play this and just beat this with just such effortless timing and just put it this way, they're very much, you know, souls-like, that's all I can say. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so three mana. Three magic. And uh let's see. Now, I do remember whenever I did this playthrough uh, originally on the Super Nintendo, the American version. I did, you know, it's really easy to, you know, sit there and just pick apart the difficulty based on just how tough it really is. I learned... Oh, sorry, it's one of my cats. I did learn uh, that the uh, Enix of America at the time in the 90s actually made this, made this game a little bit more difficult than it should have been. I don't know what their uh, deal was. I do remember on the very last episode uh, that I did, um, I mentioned that. I mean, I'm not really, you know, putting that out there, you know, to be as a complete lore because I didn't look back at my own playthrough as it is anyway. But because in the middle of all that, though, I was actually making my oh, could have got some more, more matter there. Uh, I was in the middle of making that uh, the Act Razor Two. Is it a sequel or is it a prequel uh, video? Okay, the projectiles are a little slower. There we go. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I got misunderstood here. Hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Here, let me uh, here, let me uh, make it a little bit bigger real quick. What's up? How you doing? Over here. How you doing? <laughs> I just got back from work. Nice, nice. Uh, I mean, I did earlier too. So mm -hmm. let's see. Going right back to here. Act Razor Two. Yes. The Japanese version, like I had mentioned. Oh, I've actually, I've actually been looking forward to this. Oh yeah, it's really fun though, cause like I was just going over the, uh, going over a few things too, uh, just saying, you know, how difficult the uh, the American version is compared to the uh, Japanese version. I saw your playthrough. Yeah. I, 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 I I'm sorry. <laughs> See, you misunderstood me to tell you that you know it was a, a miserable playthrough. I'm sorry. Every, every time I would take my lunch, I'd watch your playthroughs if I was work, working out on the treadmill or if I was on my lunch break at work. Uh-huh. So, I saw the wrath. Oh, yeah. I'm it was... truly sorry. Yeah, if anybody wants to uh, yeah, go to my uh, original playthrough, though, uh, the, what is it, the uh, clip art that I have of the uh, thumbnails that I have are obvious. These are going to be a little bit different, so... Anyway. Now, as I can tell, though, the damage that I've taken... I'd say it's about the same on normal mode, but I gotta tell you, the all the uh, health that I've been given and the uh, magic and the mana has definitely been a little bit more than expected, because I just got full health here, and I do uh, believe on this side, um, right before I fight this uh, this beast right here, um, that I end up with only about half health, I believe, uh -huh. something like that. Oh, you, like, you'd already be dead on the Yeah, I know the, uh, the, uh, you... The uh, PAL version in the UK. Mm -hmm. Never got a chance to play that version. Mm -hmm. So. But Indestin's clear. 
All right, let's see what we got. Dustin has finished off. I love the overworld theme in this. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Okay. And up the river we go to Benefic. Alrighty. Yeah, you know, it's um, it's really amazing, you know, just how... <laughs> I'm gonna sit there, you know, uh, make fun of myself, though, for, uh, you know, just how bad that playthrough was. Uh, I mean, I did complete it, but I didn't do it with... I did it with save states, as y'all saw. I did do it with save states. And... Ain't no shame in that when it's a game that difficult. Yeah. You should I'd, see me in Phalanx. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe that's, maybe that's a game that we may play ourselves, too, so... Yeah, I know we've uh, demonstrated it on the uh, the Retron, uh, the Retron uh, Super Retron HD. Mm -hmm. We uh, demonstrated the uh, play on that though, both on the uh, Japanese games, the uh, English English games, and we haven't done any UK game uh, PAL versions though. But we also did do your uh, that was it the beta version of uh, Star Fox too. Yes, that is correct. The one where you can actually get a wing blaster. Was it, it's, you can see the, the, the charge shot, actually. Yeah, you, the, you have a charge shot, and, and, and wing blasters are easier to find. Yeah. Hold on one second. Okay, if you can see in the little window right there, uh, Mr. Understood, it has uh, joined. Yeah! <laughs> but yeah, we were talking about uh, just, uh, you know, how the uh, Super Retro in HD uh, can do uh, reproductive cartridges. Uh, we tested SNES and Super Famicom titles. Oh yeah, in case you didn't know though, this uh, both on this version and the American version was done via emulation. So, matter of fact, Mr. Stood actually has the SNES version that I bought. It actually comes with the uh, the casing and all that though, and I gave it to her out of pure spite in a way though because I, oh, I can I can just now remember just how much I hated playing it on the uh, actual Super Nintendo. So. And Mr. Understood can uh, tell you right now, I was like, give, like, take this before I break this fucking cartridge. Yeah, I, I can attest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very, I can very much attest to uh, that statement. Yeah. So it's, it's in my room. It's kind of hilarious, though, when you buried. think about it. <laughs> yeah, buried, yeah. Oh, but I will say that if I can come across the uh, Japanese version of the uh, Act Razor 2, yeah. a hard copy, I'm definitely getting it. You know, from not just myself though, but for the collection. You know, I, I think um, I want to say there has been. I want to say I've seen a Famicom cartridge in like when we started when we started back up on going to conventions. Whoa. Uh, like, that was like, easy. Like 2016, I want to say I saw one in 2016, but I I could I could easily. No, I could definitely agree with you on that one real quick. Here, let me, uh, one second. Scooch up. Alright, a little bit of, a uh, calibration there. But, uh, I want to, yeah, I want to say I saw a Famicom cartridge of Back Razor 2 uh, yeah. in the past. Like, when we started back up on going to conventions, I want to say I saw one in either Let's Play Gaming Expo 2016 or Retro Bulls 2016. Yeah, so, I'm actually looking, if anything, just like on the, uh, on the Super Nintendo version, I'm actually going to look for a, uh, a full, uh, a full, uh, cop, uh, uh a full package cartridge along with the along with box too. So, uh, fam, um, I, I'll tell you what we what I did see and what I did buy was the Famicom version of Back Razor, the very first one. I did too. I have a copy of it too. Yeah, and I I find, um, I take pride in finding in finding that one. <laughs> yeah, because every time we go to a convention, though, the one thing that we do, we always look for like uh, the like the buy of the con. You know what I mean? Like the one thing that you find that you buy that you're really proud of. Like one of uh, one of the ones that I got was an actual inboxed uh, used Super Famicom, mm -hmm. uh, as well. Which, by the way, is actually boxed up right now. Yeah. Uh, also on Retro Blues in 2017, I also found the uh, Famicom Classic. Yes. Not long after that, though, I ended up uh, uh, ordering it from PlayAsia.com, the Super Famicom Classic. Yeah, lucky you. Yeah, cost me a hundred, hundred, a few hundred bucks though, but I ended up actually get. I got, I got it in three weeks after being shipped. Because uh, when it left Japan, it, it was uh, in transit in Singapore for about a week. And then in China for about a week, too. Then it showed up on my doorstep. Okay, let's see. I, I, I got mine on Anime Fest 2018, I think. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Anime Fest 2018. We go, we go to conventions, that's all I can tell you. We go, we, go to a lot of, we go to a lot of conventions. We also go to symphonies as well. Ah. Okay, that was just uh, that was just bad right there. Yeah, I was. I don't think I was really well prepared for that one. 
But I will say, though, uh, I, I do uh, kind of see a difference in the way this game, uh, the difficulty and the uh, balance on this is played. Last time, last time you played this level, you were struggling more than you are here. I, I can see you're faring better here, for sure. Well, I am a little rusty, to be to be 100% uh, honest with you. So... Oh, and uh, for this playthrough, though, um, I'm not using a PS4 controller this time. This time, I'm actually using a, something Misunderstood gave me. Uh, what was the, uh, ret the the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Retron that you got me? Retron Square. The Retron Square? Uh, if you don't know, the Retron Square actually comes with basically a Super SNES controller. There you go. Give you a better idea. It's black and gold, which is really awesome, though. And I gotta tell you, though, I would love to at least get one of these in with an actual uh, plug-in. I love the Hypercam controllers. I love them. Yeah, they're really awesome. They they feel they feel like pro controllers too, the way they're uh, shaped out. All right. Okay, here we go. Fully loaded. Let's see how this is gonna go. I call this uh, even though the demon's called fatigue, representing the uh, envy of uh, sloth. I call this guy type 3 diabetes. <laughs> or further, further beyond type type uh, 3 or 4. Hashtag essential. <laughs> right. <laughs> the both of us. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh god, I in the North American version we've taken like maybe 3? Like 4, like four uh, hit points of damage. Yeah. I remember I watched your... When I, we were doing... When Mom and I were doing the heart walk. Uh huh. The virtual heart walk. Yeah. Last year, I saw. I, I, I was at your episode of the Wrath of Quintet episode. Yes. Oh, I, I, I'll never forget that my footsteps were. were. There we go. Were matching the. <laughs> <laughs> the theme for Wrath. <laughs> I know, right? And Benefic is cleared. Alrighty. Alright, so. I guess you can say a little review from this side. Um, okay, because originally when I played the uh, SNES version and versus the Famicom version right now, um, the Famicom version on normal mode, I gotta tell you, is probably the most balanced that I feel out of it. Both in terms of damage, both giving and receiving. Though I will say, though, some uh, some things are kept as far as, you know, doing higher damage and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So... You know, I've been hearing about that because I have, uh, I have uh, people that I work with that are, like, Mm -hmm. Big on Famicom games, and I think uh, one guy in particular plays this. Oh, really? And he said that I fare that he fares better on mm -hmm. the Famicom version than the Super Nintendo version. He oh. said, you know, just, no kidding. Yeah. And on the next episode, Envy is below us. See you in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>